Hi, I'm Paul the Happy Gilder. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to look at the process of blending two different shades of gold leaf. So I prepared this small panel. You might have seen it in my previous couple of videos going over a brush blending technique and also how to apply Mother of Pearl. Um, and what I'm going to do is focusing on the glue chipped areas of this piece, apply the kind of 23 karat gold and then have that so it subtly blends into a 12 karat white gold leaf. But before I get into that, I just wanted to announce that I've opened a little Etsy shop selling some of my designs because I've had quite a few comments of people who would really like to get started with this, but haven't kind of got the technical ability in Photoshop or haven't got a design background. So I've done some kind of basic templates for bar mirrors um, where you can put your own text. And I've also just released some of my complete designs if anyone wanted to use those. So anyway, moving on, I'm just going to go into the kitchen and get started on the gold leaf application. Okay, so I've got all the kit ready. Now I'm not going to do this as a full gilding tutorial because I've done a couple of those. So I'll put a, a link in the top right hand corner of the screen and a link in the description as well. But just to quickly run through what I've got here, I've got my gilder's tip, cushion, knife, 23 karat gold leaf, 12 karat gold leaf, my size and my gilder's mop. Now what I'm going to do is start by applying 23 karat gold to the top of the glue chipped areas of this sign. So start by just getting that leaf and I don't want to apply whole leaves so I'm going to apply this onto the cushion and then cut it up. So let's have a look. I need to just blow on that. So let's look at this design here. I'm thinking, start by just going across the top of that with two halves of this gold leaf. So just cut that. Now apply the tiniest amount of petroleum jelly to the back of my hand. If you'd seen my last tutorial where I applied gold leaf, I applied way too much and I absolutely saturated the gilder's tip with it and it ended up a disaster so okay so that's enough let's just pick that up on there so i'm now just going to dip my brush in the size and then just soak the top of this sign okay Bit more successful than last time. So with the other bit. Okay, and for now, that's okay. All I need to do is leave that to dry thoroughly. And then I'm gonna go over that again with gold because I want the gold on as thick as possible so that I can then create how it's gonna fade into the white gold. So come back to that once it's dry. So I've given this two coats of gold. After the first coat, I burnished it with cotton wool and then I've applied the second coat. Now, the next thing I'm gonna use, which I haven't used in any of my videos before, is wire wool. And this is the finest grade wire wool. You don't wanna use medium or coarse because it will scratch the glass. So I've also prepped, just with a little bit of spare gold leaf, I just applied that to a flat piece of glass. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of wire wool Hold that quite gently and screw it up. And then starting from the bottom, just kind of start rubbing away at this leaf. Now, I'm not doing this very hard, and then I'm just gradually moving up. And you can see that creates a kind of fade. That's not perfect, that needs doing a little bit more, but But that is enough to blend that white gold leaf into that yellow gold. So just go a tiny bit higher and a little bit more gentle. And that's the kind of principle we're looking at doing on this piece here. Now the difference here is that this is glue chipped. So this is going to be much more delicate. So you have to be a bit more intricate with where you want to take the leaf off because it will want to come off on those areas that are chipped. So 
what I want to do with this is start with just a standard gradient on the stem of the T. So I'm just going to do the same process as on the clear glass and just rub that across. And then I can move on to see what I want to do on these kind of edges. Might see if I can add some nice contours to those. So just bring that in closer. And I'm barely touching that and you can kind of see that that's coming off a lot easier than it was on the flat glass. So we go a bit higher. Go upwards actually, I think that's going to work a bit better. All we really want to do is kill that line that we made from where the gold leaf ended. So it's coming up, I think that looks pretty good. Go a tiny bit more in here. And then I think I'm going to do the same on this edge here, but then I'm going to add a little kind of highlight onto this sort of curve of the of the bar of the T. So let's just kind of start by doing these little edge bits. And that looks pretty good. <coughs> I'm now just going to focus on those, these little curves here. And I think adding just a sort of small curve in there would look quite nice and, and catch the light with the white gold. So. Something like that. So now it's just a case of applying that white gold leaf. going to put that on the radiator, apply a second coat and then that'll be that. And here's the finished piece. So 
even though they're quite contrast in shades of gold, you can see you can get a really kind of subtle blend just using the kind of white wool and making sure that you kind of do a really subtle gradient when you're doing it. Now, gold leaf comes in more subtle tones than white gold and yellow gold. You can get kind of champagne, red gold, yellow gold, and you can get some really subtle effects from blending all of those together. But maybe that'll be for another video. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and click the little thumbs up icon, and please share it with anyone else who you think might enjoy it. So till next time, cheers.